This time has expired. Uh, Mr. Kucinich. I thank the gentlelady. I think it's very important for this committee to put into context the Tillman case because uh, there is an underlying question here that I don't believe has been probed adequately. Uh, with respect to my good friend on the other side of the aisle, uh, when you're talking about matters of fact and fiction in a war, it's incumbent upon this Congress in its oversight capacity to be able to determine whether or not there was a particular type of management of the news of the war. And so in connection with that, uh, uh, Mr. Rumsfeld, uh, can you tell this committee uh, whether or not in your capacity as uh, Secretary of Defense, uh, you had discussions within the White House regarding press strategies that would, uh, uh, that would be involved in the communication of the, uh, of the events of the war to the American people. I can say uh, without qualification that I can't recall ever having a discussion with anyone in the White House on press strategy relating to the, to the Tillman Manor in any aspect of it. Uh, did you ever have discussions in the White House, generally speaking, about press strategies with respect to the conduct of the war in Iraq? The, I'm, I'm sure that the subject of the press and the government's dealing with the press has come up on a number of occasions. I can recall one when General Casey was out there and there were questions raised about the relationship that the command had with some Iraqi press people. And there was a criticism, for example, of the fact that uh, stories were ending up in, in the articles which were accurate but would not have been in there had there not been some relationship between his command and the reporter. And was, there was a big debate on that. Was I can any? remember another example, of a, a, and which General Myers will remember well, and that's the very phrase, global war on terror, and, and the differences that some people had, uh, thinking that terror is not, you don't war on terror, terror is a technique of choice, a weapon of choice for a terrorist, but it's not something you, you necessarily war against, and, uh, and that that type of thing would be discussed, and, and I frequently would end up using the phrase that this was the first conflict of the 21st century, and it was really a struggle against violent extremists. Was there a press strategy in the White House for the war in Iraq? Uh, you'd have to ask the White House. Was, I, there I, a press strategy, the pre was there a press strategy that the Department of Defense was expected to be mindful of with respect to the conduct of the war in Iraq? To my knowledge, there was no White House press strategy that the was Pentagon was Department told to Defense? be mindful of. Was there a Department of Defense press strategy with respect if, to if, the war? If there was, it obviously wasn't very good. Well, you know, maybe it was very good because you actually covered up the Tillman case for a while. You covered up the Jessica Lynch case. You covered up Abu Ghraib. So something was working for you. Was I, I, there a strategy to do it, Mr. Rumsfeld? Well, Congressman, the implication that the, you said you covered up, that's just false. You have nothing to base that on. You have not a scrap of evidence or a piece of paper or a witness that would attest to that. Uh, I have not been involved in any cover-up whatsoever, and I don't believe there's an individual at this table who I know well and observed at close quarters in very difficult situations who had any role in a cover-up on this matter. Well, thank you for acquitting yourself. I was speaking of the Department of Defense. And I was speaking of things that are manifest and obvious. We've held a hearing on the Tillman case. We've held hearings on Abu Ghraib. And the hearing on this, you have not been able to establish how is it that this news could get out. No one managed it. No one communicated it to the American public. It just happened. I mean, you haven't really given this committee a good explanation as to how it happened, Mr. Rumsfeld. This committee has held many hours of hearings on the subject, and they've had the witnesses of the people who were responsible for the management of this issue, and it was the United States Army. Was and, there any outsourcing of that message? There was the Rendon or Lincoln group involved in communicating any messages you'd have in to cooperation? Ask them. You'd have to ask the Army. Did the Department of Defense have any connection at all with any outside individuals to communicate 
messages to the general public to help in the shaping of that message? Was there a press strategy involved? On this subject, not I, to my knowledge. Was there a press strategy involved? On this subject, not to my knowledge. Was there a press strategy involved generally that you used? I've already answered that question. Well, I don't think you have, not to my satisfaction. Well, was the, to the best group, of my ability. Was the Rendon Group involved in communicating a press strategy on behalf of the Department of Defense with respect to the war in Iraq? You would have to ask the people in the department. You have no knowledge of this whatsoever. I am aware that there have been over, over the years contracts with that organization from various entities within the department and outside of the department. Whether there was in, in a manner that would fit your question, I'm not in a position to, to answer. You just said that you have some awareness of it. Could you elaborate on that, sir? I, I elaborated to the extent of my ability. I know that they, there are some entities in the department that have used contractors for some things of that type over the years, and uh, you would have to ask experts on that subject, not me. Mr. Chairman, I think it's very important that this committee determine whether or not the outsourcing of, uh, of press was one of the elements responsible for communicating to the public something that seemed to be beyond the understanding of the Department of Defense. Thank you, uh, Mr. Thank you.